All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we step into the semifinals, you might know this man from Japan. Amsa. Next up, from New York, Little Matt's very own. The rapture is upon us, Dakota Lasky. My favorite player, just for his name, playing Zero Suit Samus, Gonzalo! Finally, we've got one of my favorites, Korean DJ, Daniel Jung. Show me that, Rosalina and Luma. Characters are being selected again. Pikmin and Olimar, Little Matt, Zero Suit Samus, and Rosalina and Luma. Got two newcomers in the fray. They're showing themselves to be solid threats, right? Zero looking pretty fly with his scarf. You guys ready for semis? Are you ready for semis? And we're about to start round two of this bracket on Pilot Wings. One of the new stages, and of course, it's really, really interesting. You're going to be flying through these circles, and of course, the stage interactions are out of this world. You can get stage spiked by the stage itself. You can tech off of it as well. Anything can happen. Chaos, something that we all love about Super Smash Brothers games. And right now, Olimar staying low. Staying out of the action, playing a, a bit of a survivor style match. Definitely was talking to Ken before. Right, did you see how strong that red Pikmin was? Oh my god. Ooh, Little Mac with a big punch. And we see the yellow plane flying right under this red one. Switching up. Three green shells. Oh my Ooh. god. That hurt. Olimar's still in the lead, but Zero Suit Samus is right behind. And Lil Mac, as always, putting in work. That guy trains so hard. He's got so much heart. He's all heart. Ooh, a gorgeous read from Lil Mac, expecting to roll in. What does this rocket launcher? It's just kind of sitting there. Uh oh, now it goes. There it goes. Little Mac with his KO move. Oh, wow. Luma that, Luma. Sorry. Farewell, Luma. Rosalina, I think, needs to use her neutral bead about three times to bring Luma back. Wow, crazy. It looked like a down smash from Olimar. Olimar still surviving on that first stock, still getting some good mileage out of it. Yup. Yup. Ooh, down smash from Rosalina. It reminds me of uh, Zelda's from, from Melee and Brawl. And... It's like a quick kick. And again, Olimar taking some time to click himself under the wings. He's playing it very, very safe. I like this strategy. Everyone at really low percents, that means they're not going to go too far. There would be a big rumble if they all collide. And Little Mac down to two stocks. From across Whoa. the stage. Wow. Whoa! What percent was he at? That is a heartbreaker. Olimar KO'd at around... Couldn't have been greater than 50%. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but this pilot has not missed any of these circles. This guy is getting an amazing score right now. Whoever's driving this red plane, oh my god. And Luma gone again. I like the strategy, separating the pair. Lil Mac really close to having KO punch. Meanwhile, Rosalina and Luma still no lead tied base with Zero Suit Samus. But who's in this KO punch, if anyone? He's focusing on Olimar, but... He's fishing. Ooh! Ooh! Rosalina oh. and Luma survives! I think she's 
Wow. It's actually at 0%. I think that did 39% damage. Oh. Little Mac is just charging punches. So furious on the ground. And Zero Suit Samus in the lead, and we saw a lot of this last time Zero played. Those smash balls were all his all day. Oh, but is it time? It's time. Everyone wisely staying away. Oh my god, is that what happens at the end of that final smash? Little Mac goes flying away. Earlier in practice, someone called that final smash the smash of minor annoyance. Because it didn't look like it did that much damage, but it looks like at the end... There's destruction all over the stage right now. And Zero Suit still has a really, really healthy lead. Uh, Zero Suit is definitely moving on while something changes in the next 50 seconds. Zero Suit Sam has definitely pulled ahead in some of those scuffles. Up about a full stock over all of the competition. But Olimar! This might even things up a bit. Little Matt taking so much damage. <laughs> and the rocket oh, misses, no. and then Olimar falls. <laughs> Zero Suit Samus being very evasive. Oh, and we've got Pong. I call the side on the right. Oh, give me my point. All of our players dipping and ducking. Oh my god, I'm too good at Pong, Prog. Can you stop me? 2-0. And that is the end of the match. Zero Suit Samus has two stocks. You know what that means. He's moving on. He will be in the final. So let's count up the scores. Olimar with positive one points. Little Mac with minus two. Zero Suit Samus breaking even. And Rosalina and Luma with plus one as well. So does that mean, Jeff, we have a fan vote for the next one that's moving on? Fan vote time. All right, so who is your fan favorite out of these fan favorites? You've already voted for them once. Here we go. Let's see. We're calculating now the fan favorite. And, uh, you're, you're hoping. All right, backstage, we're looking at it now. We still keep getting a couple of Pikachus. I didn't see Pikachu. All right, Rosalina wins this one. Congratulations. All right, now it is on to a semifinal number two, and the guys are going to call it again. Go for it. Again, congrats. But we've got those four other people on the couch. I think we want to get them standing up and playing. All right, guys? We want to see them play, right, guys? This determines who moves on to the final match. Items are still on medium. Next time, they're going to be on low. And of those four players, so only two will move on to grand finals. That's looking a little bit far into the future. Let's introduce our first player, our Mario player, Kevin Toy. Pew, pew, you! Next up, our Wii Fit Trainer player. Say hello to Neha Lilo. Up next, representing Florida, Hungry Box playing Kirby. Last but not least, representing New York and the Villager and the Nooks with Habitat for Humanity, Sam Pichihime McNaughton. So we've got the Villager, Wii Fit Trainer, brand new additions, and two of the old school Smash contenders, Mario and Kirby. 15 years in the game, they know a little bit about it. Semis round two. Stage has been picked. Are you ready? Over there. Are you guys ready? What about, about you in the middle? Here. Are you ready? So are our players. Let's get into it. We're on Mega Man stage. This is Wily Castle. 
This stage has crazy platforms, this static central uh, area, and we have a boss who, who appears somewhat randomly. The Yellow Devil will be making an appearance shortly. It's a very new addition to, to Smash stages. Also, we see Wiffa Trainer standing back, using that down B, kind of his uh, bumper sword, to increase speed and damage for a couple of moments. But the Yellow Devil is here, going to make his presence felt. Of course, they can't destroy him by knocking out the eye. Our players, yeah, our players are attacking it. I'm not sure if they get a KO or not for winning. But that might add to their score. Looking like the X-Bomb in the middle of the stage. Ooh! Ooh. Ouch, Kirby goes flying. Mario at 103%, he's gotta watch out. Looks like he's using the Yellow Devil as, uh, as like, a shield. Ooh! Using his cover, very, very smart. Looks like things can go under his legs, that's super cool. He's definitely playing a longevity game, trying not to commit to his offense. Great shielding by our Mario, still living at 120%. We fit trainers can be doing a lot more projectile keep away. Of course, we see the gyroids coming out in the slingshot as well. I love seeing Mario with his classic slide attack. It's been his dash attack in every game, and like you can do it in Mario 64. Villager's forward air and back air is that little like slingshot. What is he shooting? It's like berries. I think it's berries. Yellow Devil making another appearance. Ouch. Villager coming back with some balloons. It's he must so not hard. be that heavy. It's so hard to get rid of the Villager with that up beat. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, I wanted to see the bowling ball. Tried to dig a grave and put a bowling ball on it. I still love seeing Wii Fit Trainer use her little hula hoops. It's like so funny. What a great up beat. She's hiding behind the Yellow Devil and kicks a soccer ball across the stage. Mario trying to clear the stage with up smash. That was the first KO on Wii Fit Trainer. She seems like she has a solid lead. Oh, and she's so big right now. What is that dash attack? Just gotta stretch it out. Yoga has a lot of poses. Uh, we're learning about them now. What just happened over there? Did we see a Kirby, uh, a Kirby side? I didn't see it either. We just saw two players disappear and two stocks go away. Looks like the new characters have a big lead over the old. It's changing up the guard. Big up smash for Mario. Villager slowly coming down. Oh, he gets a up smash by Mario, KO'd at 150 off the top. We've got a green shell from the villager. What? It just turned around. It hit the yellow devil's foot. It didn't hurt him. Mario fighting so hard trying to survive. The yellow devil causing havoc. Is he gone now? Looks like he disappeared. That assist trophy is going to come out soon, though. That could even things up for Weepa Trainer. Still in the lead, so trying to expand it. Oh, oh we got the assist trophy out. That is Midna. Who you cannot mess with. Midna is so strong as an assist trophy in this game. Look at her grabbing Mario. Nearly KO'd him. Uh-oh. Went for Mario again. He dodged. Oh, not enough. Farewell. Scoops. Scoops. Seeing great evasion by almost all these players. No bowling balls have hit. Mario down to his last stock. He needs to do something really, really quickly. Only about 40 seconds left. The villager at high percent. So we're looking at a possibility of a sudden death between Wii Fit Trainer, Kirby, and Villager. If Villager can survive the next 30 seconds. It's gonna be hard, especially with this happening. Ooh! Yellow Devil's back. Anything can happen. Kirby and Villager at such high percent. Mario trying desperately to survive. He's got to get some KOs at this, this point. This is coming down to the wire. Kirby's still alive. We got to grab. Oh, the fourth throw, not enough. It's looking like we're going to sudden death. 
We Fit Trainer versus Kirby. Let's go. We got some rolls going on. Oh! Oh, a good dodge, but he read the roll. The up throw, and Hungrybox takes first place. He will be going on to finals. Let's take a look at the scores to determine who's second place. Mario breaking even. We Fit Trainer with plus three. Kirby even and Villager with minus three. That means that We Fit Trainer will also be advancing to the finals. Congratulations to Hungrybox and Neha. Amazing. We're getting some finalists now, which is incredible. All right, well, a great match there. Uh, and we're going to get now go to the fan vote again for another fan favorite here in the semis. Put your cards up loud and clear. I see a lot of villagers, some Marios, We Fit Girls, and still the Pikachus trying to punk the vote, some Donkey Kongs. I don't know about you guys. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go back to here. Uh, who is advancing here in the fan favorite? Looks like Villager to me, but I'm waiting for word. You hoping? All right, I'm actually surprised by this one, but Mario is advancing as the fan favorite. Fantastic. All right, good stuff. And I know, JC, we're going to have to do, we're going to do a vote now, it sounds like, right? For uh, the last match? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, but we can do the vote now. Let's do the vote. All right, so we need to do a vote on the last round here. Uh, for, because there was a tie, and we're going to get everyone to vote between uh, the characters. They'll be coming up next, and then we're going to go on to also a celebrity match that's going to be coming up. Zelda Williams is going to be competing up here with some other folks. It'll be exciting, so she'll be up here. And then, of course, we're going to go on to the finals. So much more coming up here on the, uh, the Smash Brothers Invitational. So uh, stick around. We're going to get ready for the celebrity match. We'll be right back. So... see backstage is that uh, Mr. Sakurai's back there watching all these matches and having a ton of fun. So it's uh, lots going on. We've got some, uh, some Reggie faces in the front there, right? And Mr. Iwata face. <laughs> and Pikachu, not, not competing in the tournament. Unfortunate, right? All right, well, we got Pikachu, we got lots of characters, and of course, we've got the celebrity match still to come for you guys. What do you think of the game so far, though? You guys impressed? Excellent. And JC from Nintendo is doing such a great job up here setting up all the games on pre-release software, which is holding up pretty well. So thank you, JC, from the Treehouse. Now, of course, Nintendo's story at E3 continues throughout the week. You guys, uh, have you watched Treehouse Live at E3 at all today? Pretty cool. Shigeru Miyamoto was on there showing off a brand new uh, Star Fox project that he's working on. That was earlier today, which looked pretty incredible. Uh, there was a digital event this morning as well that announced a bunch of games. And Treehouse Live is going to continue on Twitch uh, throughout the next couple of days. You'll see much more uh, from some of the big games that Nintendo has coming out, including a game called Splatoon, which is really cool, an eight-player multiplayer game that uh, was revealed this morning. Looks like a lot of fun. I got to play that, and that's great. And, of course, uh, more titles. But the big one for this year that was announced this morning, Super Smash Brothers, obviously coming for the, uh, the 3DS on October 4th. You're going to see a little bit more of the 3DS version in a little bit. And also, the Wii U version of Smash is going to be coming out this holiday season. So put it on your shopping list for the holidays. Uh, but, of course, we've got some players over here that you guys are patiently waiting for the next match. Now, 
here is where you come in. Do you remember in the previous semifinal match, there was a tie. We need you guys to decide who's going to move on between two of the characters. All right. So your choices. Get your book ready. You guys know who you're going to pick between? Pickman and Olimar. Or Mario. Only those two choices. Oh my god, we got Bowser heads back there and Yoshi, I just saw that. That's amazing. All right, this is a pick about who's going to move on to the finals, right? This is the finals right here. This is a very close race, my god. Come on, guys. If the Pikachus would pick one or the other, we might actually break this tie. This is incredible. My god, this is a dead heat. We have some Mega Mans. That's not what you're supposed to be voting for. Mario or Pikmin. All right, well, they are tabulating backstage. Let's hear by, uh, by maybe amount of noise. Mar who's voting for Mario? And votes for Pikmin? Pikmin sounds a lot louder to me. I, I just got the word. Your votes count. Pikmin wins and moves on to the finals. All right, we will be right back. We got much more Smash Brothers to come.